What's up guys, this is Kefis, and in this video I am going to showcase some macros that I have created for World of Warcraft with the use of a mod called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. This mod allows you to create macros that can perform most, if not all, of your rotation with one button. Which can be extremely useful for individuals like myself who have a disability, or for those who just want to be lazy. But, you are still required to press buttons, control your character, and make choices, which means that using this mod does not violate the terms of service. Today, we will be talking about Arms Warriors, but before we can understand how the macros work, let's first take a look at how the class is played. For Arms Warriors, it's all about properly comboing together your abilities to get the most out of the buffs and debuffs that come from your main ability, Colossus Smash. This ability deals damage and applies the Colossus Smash debuff on the target for 8 seconds. During this time, your enemy will take increased damage from you. Once you've obtained your artifact weapon, you will gain an ability called Warbreaker, which also applies the Colossus Smash debuff, but it has a much longer cooldown. Your main goal is to use these abilities to keep Colossus Smash up on the target as much as possible. Once you've unlocked the appropriate artifact trait, both Colossus Smash and Warbreaker will activate Shattered Defenses. Once active, your next Mortal Strike deals increased damage and has a higher crit chance. So each time you use Colossus Smash and Warbreaker, you'll want to follow it up with Mortal Strike. Once your target reaches 20% health, you can begin to use Execute. And once you've unlocked the appropriate artifact trait, each use of Execute will build a stack of Executioner's Precision. You can have up to two stacks, with each stack increasing the damage of your next Mortal Strike by 75%. At this point, you will want to build two stacks of Executioner's Precision, activate Shattered Defenses, so that you can then unleash a much more powerful Mortal Strike. When these abilities are on cooldown, you'll want to spend your Rage on Slam. Spending Rage has a chance to reset the cooldown of Colossus Smash. You also have Blade Storm, which you can use when you have nothing else to do. When you're fighting multiple enemies, you're going to do pretty much the exact same thing. Except you'll replace Slam with Whirlwind, and you'll gain an ability called Cleave, which you'll want to use on cooldown. And that's a basic rundown on how to play an Arms Warrior. So now that we understand how the class works, we can take a look at the macros. So we can type slash GS, and you can see that there are two macros here. One for single target and one for AoE. So we're going to click on the Arms ST macro. Right click it to get a peek under the hood and you can see what the macro is going to do. Arms was a little bit more challenging to macro because of the combo system with the buffs and debuffs of Colossus Smash and the desire to get the most out of them while also making the macros easy and making the class simpler for lazy play or for people who have special needs which is the goal of all this. So the first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to use Warbreaker and then Colossus Smash. Warbreaker having a considerably much longer cooldown than Colossus Smash, so I didn't think it was too much of a big deal to put those together, though sometimes they are going to overlap each other, which isn't necessarily what you want, but with a couple talents, which we're going to talk about, it's not too much of a big deal, but if you don't like how that feels, you can easily take Warbreaker out of the macro, use it without it, it'll manage Colossus Smash, and then you can manage Warbreaker separately. That's going to be mentioned a couple times here. So it's going to follow those up with Mortal Strike to try to get that combo in as quickly as possible. It's going to follow that up with Victory Rush to get some extra healing in and to be used whenever you're just kind of chilling. Like, I like it because of leveling, because of questing. It works out pretty well. I like to use Victory Rush as much as possible for extra healing. And then, of course, Blade Storm. When it's on cooldown, it's going to use it. Again, if you don't like how that feels because you don't like Blade Storm to be used just when you're not expecting it, you are free to remove that from the macro yourself and then just manage it by itself. And that also applies for Slam. It's going to follow the, all of that up with Slam. When there's nothing else to do, the macro is going to spend your rage on Slam to try to reset Colossus Smash, which is great. But if you're finding that you're getting rage starved, maybe you're lower level or something, you don't have a lot of gear, whatever it is, and you just don't like how that feels, you are free to remove Slam from the macro and manage it yourself. That's always to be said because that works out for any macro. You are free to edit them as you see fit. And then, of course, that also applies for the cooldowns. We've got Blood Fury for Orcs, and then we've got Battlecry and Avatar, which will be used on cooldown with the macro. Again, if you want to manage those separately, you are free to do so. So let's take a look at the AoE macro. We have pretty much the exact same setup, except we've added Cleave, 
and we've replaced Slam with Whirlwind. And then of course it also uses the buffs. So that's exactly what you want to do for AoE. The macro works out just fine. It works just like the single target one, except that it uses um, Whirlwind instead of Slam. And it adds Cleave in there, so it works out just fine. And you will also notice that Execute is not included in either macro. The reason for this is because of how Execute works with the buff. You will see that whenever you use Execute, once you've unlocked a certain talent, you will gain a buff to Mortal Strike, stacking up to two times. So you want to make sure that you're using Execute effectively to get more out of your Mortal Strike. You want to get the Execute buff up, you want to get Shattered Defenses up, and then you want to use those buffs on Mortal Strike. So if I put this in the macro, not only is Execute going to just eat up all of your rage, you're also not going to get most out of the buff, which is what you want. So I felt like it's just easier to use separately. You're only going to use it when the target's below 20% health anyways. It's not that big a deal. Just execute twice and then switch back to your macro. It's basically going to do Colossus Smash and then use all those on Mortal Strike. And then it's just going to use Slam in the meantime to use your rage. So that's basically how the macro is going to work. Nothing too much to worry about. Let's take a look at talents. The thing to note about talents is that for arms, there are a lot of extra abilities added in here. And in every situation, none of them work out <laughs> with the macro because of how they work. All of them either have zero cooldowns or they're debuffs that you want to use. These two, Stormbolt and Shockwave, are more utility than damage anyways, so I don't like putting those in the macro. So in all of those situations where are those extra abilities, I just recommend that you don't go with them. And if you do go with them, make sure that you manage those separately. The macro will not be able to manage those. So keep that in mind. There really isn't too much to go over here. Of course, we've also got Ravager. That replaces Bladestorm, but the thing about Ravager is if you use that, you will notice here it's like one of those reticle AoE abilities that don't work well with macros. I mean, I suppose you could do at player Ravager, but that's really not what you want. So I don't recommend that you use this if you're going to use these macros. I just like to use Opportunity Strikes. The only talents that I really want to go over, though, are this tier, because a lot of people like to go with Fervor of Battle. If you do this, basically you're going to replace Slam with Whirlwind at all times, and that will work just fine. You're just going to want to go into the macro and go into the single target one and replace Slam with Whirlwind so that it uses that instead of Slam. Now, you could just use the AoE one, but the problem is, is that that one also uses Cleave, which you're going to use on cooldown, so that doesn't work out too well when you're just trying to do single target. So it's just easier to replace the single target one. Just replace Slam with Whirlwind and it will work just fine. But what I like to do is go with Titanic Might because this basically makes it so that Colossus Smash is up on the target at all times. You're getting more Colossus Smashes in, which makes the Warbreaker thing not that big of a deal. And it also makes it so you get more combos in. And that really synergizes well with In for the Kill, which gives you a 10% haste buff every time you use Colossus Smash. So more Colossus Smashes mean more haste buffs. And that's basically the talents that I like to use, and it works out pretty well. As powerful as these macros are, they are far from perfect. So, if you want to play the game at a high level and get the most out of your class, I highly recommend that you play the game without these macros. But, if you'd like to get started with Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, you can do so by downloading and installing the mod. A link can be found in the description below. Along with it, you will find pay-spin links for any macros featured in this video. If you'd like to use them, simply click the link and you'll be taken to a raw paste bin of the macro. Select the entire macro, copy, log in to the appropriate class, type slash GS to open the GNOME sequencer screen, click on import, paste the macro into the available space, make sure that automatically create macro icon is checked, and click import. You can now drag the icon to your action bar and the macro is ready to be used. If you followed all the steps correctly, the macro should be working fine. If something isn't working, start over and make sure that you follow all the steps correctly. If you are having further issues, I recommend that you check out the mod page or contact the mod's author for more information. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. You can also subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at TheKefis to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. 
Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. This is Kefis. Until next time.